What's going on everyone, it's Eric. It is football season, we are back, and we're gonna do a form review of Justin Tucker, definitely my favorite kicker in the NFL, uh, right next to Jason Myers. If you guys haven't seen a form review of Jason Myers, I will link to it right here. Uh, you guys can see that and uh, enjoy as you will. So, other than that, I uh, just added one quick thing I wanted to mention. If you guys haven't already gotten your copy of The Art of Kicking, uh, both the book version and the journal itself, I would highly recommend you do that. Uh, that is a huge resource for a lot of you guys. The links are below. You can find more information about that on the page itself. Uh, and then there's some other resources to help me out as well. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so Justin Tucker, definitely my favorite gigger. Uh, and there are some things that I really wanted to bring up uh, in this video. He was, uh, all this, you can be found on the Black for Three Instagram page. Michael Black, he is a kicking or sports analyst for CBS, I believe. And um, he goes all these games pregame and films some of the kickers. And it's just so fun to watch. So with Justin Tucker, one thing to note is he is crazy wide um, from the ball. He is pretty tall. Uh, I think he's about 6'2", if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, he's got such a long frame and he really knows how to use it. He's got an extremely fast leg so that he can get wide enough um, and and through it effectively. So when he takes his steps, he's about two and a half yards away from the ball. Um, he almost goes the second the ball snapped. And then what happens is whenever he comes in, check his backswing. See how wide uh, out to the side it is? How it's like way out here instead of like your traditional um, up to the, the left butt cheek. He's, he's, he's like way past that. So uh, definitely a lot more of a backswing than, than traditional kickers, which um, definitely helps him whip through it. So he comes through, locks his leg out very fast. And then what I love here is his hips explode forward. I'm not a big fan of his sweep across, but hell, he smacks the crap out of the ball. But after his, uh, his swing, he goes left a little bit. But the thing that makes him so explosive is right here where he starts to hop through. So check out where after he makes contact, he starts to do a little hoppity hop. I start doing that too. So the bunny hop is something that I've uh, been a big fan of. And it's actually, see, I've, I've seen a huge increase in my like consistency and ball flight. So of course the ball goes straight down the pipes. No issue. No issue at all, because he's, you know, the guy. So uh, next one, of course, we're going to see right here. He does a little, root, his little routine is he'll get set, kind of come back on his foot, and then he shrugs his shoulders, takes a deep breath, and then he's ready to go. It's, it's such a cadence now to where he doesn't even have to worry about it. Uh, it's such clockwork. It's beautiful to see. Great snap, freaking fantastic hold like never laces, but his lean is what I love about him. Like that was something that I did and really try to focus on for years is that like body posture at contact, how he's away from the ball. Um, typically guys will be something like this where they're either up and up and down completely um, or even like over the ball where they're like bodies hunched over. Not a big fan of either one, but again, you can do whatever you feel comfortable with. It's just He's, he's found what works for him, and, and that's something that I, I've tried to, to, to be like as well. It's just something in that range, and I've played around with it enough times to feel and figure out that that is the style that I can get behind, is one where you lean away from the ball a little bit. One thing that I'm not a huge fan of is that plant foot. So typically, you want to be about a foot away from the ball. It looks like he's, 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 he's right there. I mean, he's, he's about... I'd say he's got to be like 10 inches away from the ball. But if anything, I would say it would be nice for him to get just like a smidge out wider. Just because if he ever does miss, um, if he does happen to plant too close and then he hits the same ball that he always hits, he's going to catch it right on the um, outside panel over here as opposed to being on the inside panel, which if you guys haven't seen that video, I will link to it right here as well. Uh, that is how to kick the ball with great contact every single time. But other than that, uh, it does have, of course, a great kick every, almost every single time. Um, when that ball hits his foot, that's about 
the perfect football contact. It's not quad. It's not all groin. It's not all quad. He's very engaged and he keeps his leg flat throughout contact. So after he hits the ball, he keeps it on its swing path and he doesn't break it off to the left way too early and he doesn't like keep it way out. Uh, we did make a video on that as well, which is going to be um, where to swing your leg and you know keep it on the, on your swing path so ideally you want to swing it to the right upright and then you finish down the middle towards your target now he has a little bit of a sweep across overall but it's not the worst thing in the world um, but it's because his hips are right where he needs them to be but he does do a great job of swinging towards his target a little even even a little bit off to the side and then he finishes his hips pointing where he needs to go and then of course this little bunny hop trick and uh, gets downfield so with all those reasons the ball just takes the freak off and uh, you know it doesn't doesn't hurt that he has a crazy fast leg but great contact great body posture a little bit wider of a plant would be nice just because if he does happen to, sh to hit around it just a little bit um, you know that that might cause issues but you know he's done it enough times to where that is exactly what he likes and what's comfortable for him so can't complain there all right now, next one that we will do is a little right hass, right hass, <laughs> right hash action. Say that five times fast. Good Lord. Right hash action, right hash action. I sound like an old guy eating like butterscotch candies. Sounds like something I could say for hours. You know, the Herbert, the pervert from Family Guy. <laughs> yep. That's the impersonation. So um, <laughs> deal with it. So on this one, what you'll notice is, I mean, he keeps everything the same. There's nothing like crazy different. The only other thing that I'm not like a massive fan of is because he's so far away, he has to jump into his plant. So you see like his, I mean, it, again, it's slight. It's not like a massive deal, but he does like kind of jump off of his plant because he's about two yards away from the ball. Um, so we'll zoom in. So two yards away from the ball, he is right here, and then the ball is there. So according to my calculations, he's about two yards away. So hitting it again, that plant, man, that is crazy close. I don't I have no idea how he does that. How does he hit the ball so well when he's like six inches from it? He's easily six inches from the ball, but you know, more power to him. And then he just explodes his hips through the football and then does this little bunny hop, crushes it. Good Lord. All right, last one. There's a little uh, rock back. Watch his, everything is the same. Rock back, shrug, ready to roll. Oh, yeah. Plant's close, but man, he explodes through. So his hips popping through, little sweep across, but man, he freaking keeps his hips disciplined and he makes sure to get downfield with it with his fast legs. So all those reasons, because of the fact that he's so explosive again, crazy fast leg, trust his swing, trust his holder, trust his snapper, um, great body position and ex ex an ex <laughs> geez. I guess I just forgot how to talk today. But he's got an extremely fast leg, and because of that, he can pop it through really, really quick with no issues. Um, now, the only thing that I would say that he, if I were to be next to him and just say like, "Hey, you might want to just try to plant, you know, do this a little differently or try this," I would, I would just tweak the plant, plant width because it seems like he is really close. I mean, for his size, it seems like he could get a little bit farther away. Uh, as well as checking, not not trying to like jump into it and more of like a glide so that he's not like landing in. Um, granted, I, I do the same thing. It's not like, you know, any of us are perfect unless you're Jason Myers because he is like pretty much perfect. Um, don't tell him I said that, you know, you'd want to keep his ego out of the way. You want to make sure that he maintains his, his uh, mentality. Don't let him get ahead of himself. But um when you jump into it, you do lose a little bit of that momentum. I mean, he's got such a fast leg to where it's not a big issue. But again, um, man, I've said that a lot in this video. I've said he's got a fast. So 
I think you know by now that he's got a crazy fast leg. But apart from that, jumping into it and planning too close, he does those two things. He gets away with it already. He's fine. Uh, but I would just hate to see him get injured for something like that. Um, you know, ideally it would be nice for him to just play a little wider and try not to jump into it, more glide into it so he can get his power from the ground level versus like relying on his leg speed to, to get him. I mean, it might add like a yard or two uh, with both those things combined at his level. But um, I mean, at this point, you're 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 just perfecting and, and making your, your form automatic. So it's not a massive deal. But those are the things that I noticed. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please, please, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom. Um, that helps me out tremendously. And then as well, hit the bell notifications so you guys can get notified anytime you see any of my content. As always, check the links in the description. And now you can get my ebook and book, The Art of Kicking. Uh, learn how to perform at a high, at your highest level, uh, whether you're a kicker, punter, coach, parent, or just athlete trying to learn the game. And of course, the journal as well is a huge resource that you guys now have too. You can track your field goals and punts and kickoffs and everything to see how your performance is um, You know, on each day. You can go back months, months prior and see how you did and uh, stack yourself up against um, yourself every single time. So thank you guys again. Let me know what you guys want to see next and we will see you next time.